Good morning. Uh, this is for Amy Suzanne. I'm in uh, Sacramento. Oh, couldn't remember where I am. I'm getting ready to compete in my fourth pro show, and I'm getting ready to do my stage makeup. So it's show day, and um, I've got to get my makeup on. You can see I've got a really dark spray tan, and um, I haven't done my hair yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up and show you guys a little bit about how I do my own stage makeup. So the most important part of this is um, finding a foundation color that looks good on you and um, is much darker than your natural uh, color. So my spray tan is quite dark and I really, I don't want it to match my spray tan because you want your face to still be lighter than your, than your body. You don't want it to all blend and just have your face disappear with your body, but you need it to be a lot darker so it looks a little bit more natural. Um, so I have really decided that I love MAC products. I really like um, the MAC foundations and when I was first starting in this, what I would do is I'd go to like the Nordstrom counter or go to a MAC store and ask for samples of a, of a bunch of different shades because you never know um, what color the uh, spray tan is going to be on you specifically. Um, each person's body and their pH levels of their skin pull different colors from spray tans and sometimes you'll have a lighter spray tan, sometimes it'll be a much darker spray tan and the worst case is that you um, are in a different city trying to do your own makeup and you don't have a dark enough um, that you don't have a, sorry, a dark enough uh, foundation color for to, to look normal. So um, it's always good to have backup colors. Uh, I like to really have a lot of variety with uh, the colors that I have so that I don't have um, that situation happen. So, um, and MAC is just a brand that I was a little bit more familiar with because I don't wear a lot of makeup on a daily basis. I, I don't really, I wear like maybe a little bit of powder on a daily basis. So um, as far as foundation goes, I wasn't very familiar, but I really liked their eyeshadows. And um, so kind of got into trying out their colors um, based off of that. So um, now if you're familiar with MAC products, you know that there are... Um, the, the cooler tones, I think they're, uh, I think they go by NC, and then there's warmer tones, which go by NW, and then there are different shades of each of those. So, um, I and that's of the Studio Fix fluid. Um, it actually does have SPF 15, and it has a broad spectrum, and from what I hear, it's supposedly better for the stage. So, um, I have personally decided that I like um, NW40. Um, I used NW45 in um, New York and I felt like it was a little bit too dark um, in the pictures on the stage for my face. But now every person is going to be very different and your spray tan may be much darker or much lighter. So you really need to go with what looks good for you. So just with all those samples, try different things out. And if you need to take it off and put new on, that's just how it goes. So, um, so I start with a much darker foundation. And I use a brush, um, this is kind of like the airbrushy type of brush from MAC um, that I really like because I can use it for my, my liquid and my powder. So I put this on first and you can tell already it is much darker than my natural color. And I start putting that on pretty much everywhere. Just over a clean face with um, a light layer of your regular face lotion is great. And I really put it everywhere. Make sure, make sure, make sure to blend it in to your chin, jawline, and into your neck. That is one thing that looks really tacky is when girls forget to pull it down and blend it with their neck. You really need it to uh, look like it flows. I wish I had a better <laughs> method for this. I probably will find one. I just, uh, using the palm of my hand here. <laughs> Thank you. 
And it's important to bring it all the way up into your hairline too. Um, you know, it doesn't exactly feel good to get it into your hair, but um, at the same time, it's really important that it, um, you don't have a white line where your hairline is. So bring it up into your hair. In, in my pictures, I feel like you can tell more than what you can tell um, just by looking in the mirror. So I, that's why it's been so useful for me to have um, a bunch of different competition photos that I've been able to kind of um, mess with and see what I like best. And then this is called Prep and Prime from MAC and it is a highlighter. So it is much lighter and I'm going to use it to brighten underneath my eyes. And then I literally just like to use my finger and um, blend it in. Probably would have been better to do this before I did um, that bronzing powder, but I can always add that little bit of bronzing powder on again after. And then just kind of bring it down until the top of your little cheekbone here and all underneath your eyes just to really brighten underneath your eye. I don't know if you can see that very well but it adds um, just that brightness. I used to not use this and I always felt like I needed something brighter under my eyes and I didn't know what it, what it was until I was in New York City after that last competition and I got this in the Mac store. And I used it in Phoenix and loved it and felt like it really helped um, the look of my makeup. So um, that was a good, good buy. All right, and then um, I'm kind of all over the place when I do my makeup. Sorry. Uh, this is a this is a bronzing powder blush called Format. And it is really um, dark, and it's going to kind of give me that dimension here. So if you can see that, that is really bringing out my cheekbones. So that is good for stage. And then I actually like to use a much brighter kind of pinky uh, um, blush as well. So this one's called Dolly Mix and it is um, just a really cute pink um, blush that I can then use right on the apple of my cheeks. And maybe even, you know, bring that up a little bit just depending on uh, what you like. And then, um, you know, just kind of, I like to make sure everything looks kind of blended. I don't want it to look too um, stark in one area. Okay, and then using um, a small kind of little painter brush. I um, use the painterly paint pot for my eyelids and I just kind of paint that on all over my lid as a base foundation for my eyeshadow. And I pretty much put it everywhere, all the way up into my brow. This definitely helps um, the eyeshadow to set where I want it to set. And it helps it to stay on longer. And also I just feel like having that um, base on my eyelids before I put on my um, eyeshadow 
um, kind of helps everything to look a little bit more even to start with. Um, like to make sure I'm not missing any little eyebrows with the tweezers. Sometimes if you have one of those smaller mirrors that can really help. Sorry if I'm in kind of a hurry. I with it being actual show day. It's kind of how it goes, I guess. Um, and I do have lash extensions, which I really like. Um, for a long time, I used to get the um, false lash strips and glue them on, which works great for show day. Um, but I felt like I was needing to use them so much that it was getting annoying. Um, but this makes it so I don't have to really do anything with my lashes day of show, which is great. But um, otherwise, if you are using the, the lash strip, um, false lashes, you're just going to want to put them on at the very end. So um, that will, I will just skip that part because I don't do that part. But okay, um, so um, now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use a much darker than normal color for brows. Um, normally, I use this uh, really kind of light um, blonde color, but it is um, not dark enough for stage makeup. Everything needs to be darkened. Um, on stage, the lights are so bright that everything you put on is going to look lighter than what you think um, it's going to look. So um, this is really going to make my brows much, much, much darker, but that is preferred. You want your brows to show up on stage. So I'm starting with this pencil, and now this one is from MAC, it's called Stud, and it is a pretty dark eyebrow pencil liner. Alrighty, so I've got a little bit of this on. But what I really like to do is take a little angled brush, you can see that, and then take a, um, a brown, this is kind of a lighter brown, but it's still kind of a, it's a brown um, eyeshadow. This one is called Charcoal Brown Matte. You don't want it to be shiny because you don't want your eyebrows to be shiny, so you want a matte color um, of eyeshadow. And then I use it to kind of fill in and blend and it gives it more of an airbrushed look with this little angled brush and I just kind of put it on exactly where you want it to show up on your eyebrows and then just kind of um, it gives it kind of a softer look rather than that stark um, straight line of the pencil so um, and you can definitely see that my eyebrows look really dark up close but on stage I promise you they look um, much much lighter Everything looks a little bit more dramatic up front. So now I have got really great, bright, uh, not bright, but dark brows to um, show up. Okay, so now um, this is the, I guess I could probably go ahead and, and do my lips, actually. Um, so I'm choosing to do red because I'm going to be wearing my red suit today. So I... Um, you want a really bright color for your lips, whatever you choose. And I have used a lot of pinks in the past. Um, whatever it is, you don't want it to be some dull color. It's going to need to be really bright to show up with the bright tan, the bright lights. Everything is bright. So um, pick a bright color or a dark color or just something more dramatic than what you normally would use. So this is a really awesome red. This is actually called Cherry Red.
sorry I'm doing this in a mirror that is not making it easier for you guys to see probably. <laughs> All right, once you have your awesome liner on, go ahead and put on your awesome lipstick. And again, this red is called um, Viva Glam Rihanna Frost. Um, I love it. It's brand new. I just got it. So this is actually my first time wearing it on stage. And this is the um, MAC Lip Glass Lip Gloss. I will put over the whole thing. So I'm not going to do that to the end because I still am drinking water and stuff. But um, yeah, so you can see that it's uh, bright. It shows up. And now um, the most important and my favorite part is eyeshadow. Um, having awesome eyeshadow is kind of what I feel like make, makes or breaks uh, the look of your makeup um, makes it look professional or unprofessional um, so really important that you are able to kind of match um, this is actually pushing the lighter side for sure but on stage and with the pictures I think I will personally like um, having this light of foundation but some people may actually like to go a little bit darker but you definitely want your face to be a few shades lighter than um, than your body okay so for my eyeshadows, this has been um, totally a uh, trial and error type of a thing, and I have decided I have decided to use some of the colors that I use on a daily basis that I really liked, um, and then have brought those into using my for my stage makeup. Um, my favorite brushes for um, eyeshadows are this kind of flat paintbrush type um, and then this other kind of um, it's not really big but it's good for blending I feel and then this other little one so I just kind of use a few of these this one's a little bit bigger than this one but um, having good brushes makes a big difference um, it really helps you to get the eyeshadow where you want it um, and blending it well. Hi, I'm back now getting ready to do my eyeshadows for my stage makeup. Um, so I was just um, saying earlier that I have already done the painterly paint pot over my eyelid and um, then this has kind of been a uh, trial and error type of thing, figuring out what colors of eyeshadows work best for um, me and for the stage and what's dark enough, what's not dark enough, light enough. Um, whatever it is, you want it to be pretty dramatic and pretty dark. Everything on stage is going to look lighter than it looks in person and lighter than it looks in your mirror. So you're going to want it to be really dramatic. Um, and having good eyeshadow is kind of what's going to make or break um, having uh, make or break how professional your stage makeup looks and um, it can really really accentuate your eyes or it can make them look really drowned out and boring so um, really important so I'm going to start with this kind of flat brush and I've decided I love the color Naked Lunch it's a, a kind of a really kind of a beigey um, but lighter color with a little shimmer and I like to put that all over the inside corner of my eye because it looks much lighter with the spray tan than it normally does. I love this color on a daily basis. I use Naked Lunch almost every day, but with the stage makeup um, being so much darker, it actually shows up and looks be good. So I start with that just on the inside triangle and bring that to about the middle of the lid and all the way up to the brow. And um, then I have this color that I really um, let's see. I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I think I like to kind of layer a little bit. This is called Ho, H A U X, and it is a kind of, um, it's almost like a pink color. 
but it's not super, super pinky. And I like to take that and kind of bring that um, in the corner, outer corner, and um, into that triangle, kind of bringing it um, right to about where your eyebrow ends. So, um, and then kind of bring that across all the way, all the way through the crease. This is a lighter color, so it's not going to look too dramatic yet. So this is pretty light. Um, but I feel like it's important to have something to kind of give that crease its dimension. If you um, have not very deep set eyes, it works really great to kind of create that illusion that you have um, more dimensions. So, yeah. Okay, and then I have, um, I like to kind of go more with, with blacks. I don't do a lot of uh, colors because I generally, ha you know, with the bright suit, I like to keep my eyeshadows not colorful, um, but to just use them to um, give uh, dimension and kind of, you know, that smoky kind of look. So this is called Divine Night. This is a much darker color. Um, it's almost a black, but it has a shimmer to it. Um, and I take that and I put it uh, throughout the outer corner. And again, the brushes that you use definitely helps this cause. And I'm bringing this pretty much, pretty high under my brow. Not to my brow, obviously, but I'm bringing it pretty high and I am um, starting at the middle of the lid and moving outward. And I'm doing that on the other side. This is not going to be my darkest color yet. This used to be my darkest color, and then I realized, um, looking at stage pictures, that this wasn't dark enough to really do what I wanted it to do. I thought it was dark enough. It looks dark, right? But it, um, on stage, I, it really it needed to be darker. So I um, went to the Mac store, and I got this... Um, Black, I think it's called uh, I think it's called print, or it, it's like one of the darkest blacks that they have, and it's just a basic black. And then I put that right in um, the corner. I really use this to. Um, kind of create that smoky, that smoky eye. And I, as you can see, I do bring this out here um, so that it looks a little bit more dramatic. Personally, I feel like I, I like that look better. Um, you really want to, um, you don't want it just to end right where your eyelid ends. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. So, um, and then the, another color that I use, this is, I think this might be called nylon. It is um, kind of, this is really hard to show you. Here, okay, it's like a, almost like a white color with a shimmer in it. And um, I use that all over, up, above, right underneath my brow. You really want this part to pop. So yes, add some drama. And this is even a good one to use like right in the corner of your inner eye to kind of add that pop there too. So those are, that is good for the popping. And um, 
So then once you get your, your shadows pretty much done, which I, um, this is probably um, done. So uh, eyeliner is the next most important part. And I have decided that I really like this black liquid liner. Um, it's called Rapid Black Pen Ultimate Eyeliner. And it's basically like a felt pen um, with black eyeliner in it. and has made it so much easier. Um, before I used a pencil, and that works too. Um, you can totally use a black pencil, but this just made it so that it could go on a little bit more smooth and a little bit um, easier for me to kind of like draw it out. Um, in the corner but um, a black pencil works too you just have to have a really steady hand and make sure that you're able to get it everywhere that you need it to go which um, for a long time I still did but so black eyeliner and I like to start all the way in the inner corner of my eye And bring it as close to the lid as you can all the way across because you can always make it thicker, but you can't make it thinner very easily. So I'm just bringing that across. Hi. So, um, sorry when my video cut out there. Um, I was using this black felt tip MAC um, eyeliner called Rapid Black Pen Ultimate Eyeliner and I was starting from the inner corner and moving out um, and staying as close to the eyelashes as possible and um, then drawing that out all the way on the other side um, and making just a little bit of a little there um, and you can make it thicker if you want it to be thicker a lot of girls do wear um, the thicker eyeliner um, for some reason, I just kind of stick with a little bit of a thinner, but um, so I'm getting really close to being done here. Um, so after I've done the top, um, I will then take a um, black pencil and I will um, do from the outer corner in about halfway um, of black eyeliner, just really close to... Um, my lashes are on the bottom lashes and just bring that to right about um, sometimes I yeah let's just do that one for now <laughs> I have a hard time making up my mind so here is the other side too um, one trick that a girl I've um, I am friends with has taught me is to take a white um, eyeliner and um, to take that and put it on the inner waterline inside of where you've put the black liner. This is good for um, stage makeup as um, it kind of helps your eyes to pop a little bit and make them look a little bit bigger. So sometimes I use this and um, just really pull your lid, your lower lid down and put that right along the waterline. And I do this all the way across. It really isn't um, very bright or dramatic, but It might just help just a little bit to making your eyes look a little bit bigger and fuller. So there's that. And then sometimes I will take um, another color. I'm trying to find the one I want. Um, this one is called Mythology. I'm just going to try this out. It's kind of more of like a pinky shimmery. And I put that, um, well, actually let's go with a darker one. Um, like a brown maybe even. Um, this one is called Satin Taupe from MAC. And um, I just take this on a tiny little brush and put that on the inner lower lid. Um, from And I just dab it right along where you would put an eyeliner. Even a darker color would be good for this. 
If I had like a purple suit or something, I would probably do purple. When I used to wear my blue suit, I would put um, this really awesome bright blue right there, which um, is fun to do, but definitely not necessary. You can um, pull the black all the way over if you would like. But um, I don't know if you can even really see that. But So I think I'm pretty much done. Um, so this pretty much concludes stage makeup. Um, and I think uh, the overall point is to have it look really dramatic uh, in person and up close. But then on stage, I promise everything looks much more mellow. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video on how to do your own um, bikini competition or figure competition stage makeup. So, um, again, I'm no expert, but uh, this is just some of the tips and um, the methods that I've kind of picked up along the way, um, but I feel like it's worked really well for me. So, just thought I'd share with you guys. Thanks so much. Bye.